this week we're back in New Mexico, only this time it's Bob that gets to sling some arrows at some big New Mexico elk. But the best part of this week, you get to see one of my hunts from South Africa. presents Scent Blocker Most Wanted. Brought to you by Bossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Scent Blocker, close enough to kill. Browning, the best there is. Ford, and your quality Ford dealers. Tree Spider Safety System, light, easy, fast, safe. Last week, we saw Larry's elk hunt with Joseph Graham of Graham's Guide Service. Draw. shot is so fatal. If you can make it, and he was so close, I knew I could make it. And the wind was blowing right at him. I mean, we got, he just, you we're sad. No choice. He already had a spin. Yeah. Spin. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the, he's almost an eight by eight. He's eight for sure on this side. That side's real close with those two smaller points. He's, I tell you what, Man, if, I'd have, awesome if, if I'd have seen these brow times were short right here, you probably would have I, shot probably, him. I probably would have still shot him. <laughs> well, before all that happened, Bob got his own chance to hunt. And it's been six years since Bob was able to draw an elk tag for New Mexico. So with that in mind, Larry let Bob take the first hunt with the old elk guru. The day before the season opened, the guys headed out to do some homework. Bob and Joseph wanted to hang a stand over a wallow that usually has some good activity. Plus, it's always a good idea to get up high and do some calling just to see how the bulls are responding. Got a water hole here. The biggest problem is this is a really great place for these elk to come in here. 10, 11, 12 o'clock during the day after they quit. Looking for water, getting a place where they can cool down, especially if it warms up. And Joseph come in here and put a stand. We're gonna put another one in here. And the biggest problem we've got is the rain as we walk in here, lots of little water holes. So this is not the only place that they're gonna to have to worry about getting something to drink. Yeah, they're gonna come from this side to the pond. If an elk comes at water, he's gonna have less than a 30 yard shot to anywhere around the water, so. Season don't come in until tomorrow, so we're just out playing with them, seeing how responsive they are, and doing a little scouting. Facebook.com slash Scentwalker Most Wanted. We're giving stuff away every week, stuff you want, stuff you need. Facebook.com slash Scentwalker Most Wanted. 
This segment of Scent Blocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Matthew Solo Cam. Catch us if you can. Rage, the revolutionary rear deploying broadhead. Here it is, finally opening morning, and we got some drizzly rain, a lot of fog, it's calm. We're in our ultra secret starting spot of all spots. Well, Joe's gonna slip over here and step out in the wide open spaces and see if he can't fire some up, and we'll make a plan from there. All right, all right. Enough of Bob and Larry for a while. Let's get to my hunt. This trip to South Africa was a first for me in many ways. It was my first trip to Africa, plus it was my first time to hunt outside of North America. Last year, you saw me check two off my most wanted list, my kudu and bless buck. So now we're down to it, the Impala. The whole reason we were in this blind was due to the cuttybacks. Bob had set up the camera the day before, and we kept getting pictures of some really nice Impala Rams. We just got set up on the morning of day five. We're in a really cool little ground pit that's domed. And we have lots of wide open space in front of us, great 20 to 30 yard shots. We have a wide variety on our list today. As soon as I shot, I was so mad. I cannot believe I just shot my Impala high. I waited seven days for that animal to walk in. The only thing I could think was, thank goodness I'm shooting a rage. Let's hope it does its job. Okay, so what's happened is we have let my Impala sit as many hours as we could. Um, our PH John decided to go ahead and call in the trackers. Um, they went out, found my arrow. Um, they followed my Impala's tracks a pretty good long distance. Um, I guess we're going for the recovery. <laughs> um, I was really worried that the shot was too high. Um, and one of the hardest things for me about hunting um, is making sure that I'm doing the right thing for the animal um, and the humane thing for it. Um, so I'm so thrilled that um, this animal didn't go near as far as what we thought it did. Um, so I'm just so happy that uh, it, was, it, was, it was a good kill. <laughs> <laughs> 